Hey friends, today we will implement EXO video player in Android application and we're going to add some additional tools which we can enhance the video more interesting such as we can uh, lock the screen and make the full screen rotation something like that and moreover we will implement with the add inside the video player okay so very first we're going to create a new project and we're going to name the project and here we choose the minimum SDK is the Android 5 and the language is the Kotlin language okay we hit the finish button so we know the purpose is to implement it is the ESO video player so we need the dependency we're gonna open up the Gradle file to place the library so I'm going to place this inside here and I choose this is very latest version for me in 2021 now we gonna add a button in this main activity to open up the new activity that means we're going to place the player control in that new activity instead okay I'm going to change this to the button and then we're going to uh, place the text so let's say watch now and we need the ID for reference that we can use is later on and then now we will create a new empty activity for a play the video I'm going to say um, watch activity and I just leave the language as the same and here we're going to continue design the XML file on the watch activity we can change it to the related layout and then we place the control play view inside that we have this uh, player ID we can remove this if we don't want the dark background and the player layout ID which we can use is different layouts in the EXO player we're gonna use this one and if I just hover the with the control key we're gonna see this uh, from the EXO player library and here we can see that the red here is we just know a layout exists and this layout is for add a custom control to be able to use the custom control we have to add this attribute use controller is true and now let's hover on it and we're going to hit this shortcut to create the layout and we're gonna use this default root element and we expand this we're gonna see the layout is located in here so let's change this root elements to the relative layout and we're going to set the background color and that's gonna overlay the screen control in the center screen we're gonna set the control play press forward and backward icon on it and we have the, the ID in here to use it later on when we implement the lock control screen and here we set the attribute which will move the control to the center and that's gonna work with the relative layout only and inside this we need the control icon so let's go to the resource file we are gonna create a vector asset we are gonna select this to change the icon and we are looking for a replay button with the number 5 means we are gonna reverse to back in a 5 second and we're gonna set this to uh, 48 pixel and we're gonna change the color to white and last we're gonna remove this messy name and we finish it so later on I'm going to do it fast
All right, so now we start add those icon to our control. Here we can see the icon is show, but the problem is we don't have the theme with this name. Okay, so this we have to add a theme because we want this control I make view show the ripple effects when we click on it. We're gonna create that with this name. And we place this with this value. So let's go back to our custom control. And we're gonna use this ID. And this is the ID which is built in with the ESO player library that have implements in the action with the control RD. And this ID is important. We have to put the same exactly ID. Okay. And then next for the pause button, remember just put the exact same ID. And the last one for the forward button. Okay, now we have done at the center screen. And then we're gonna insert the button lock screen at the top here. But, and now it seems a bit bigger. So let's go to edit this to the 24 dp. Okay, now it's better look. We already have a pair of this icon, lock and unlock. So we're gonna edit it too. Okay, so at the bottom space, we will insert the time bar status and the toggle full screen button. Now first, we gonna insert the container. And this can align at the bottom because we use this attribute. Inside this, we have duration minutes of the video running. Next, we will add a separate between the total duration. Mm, I think that it should change to the horizontal. This tech view is gonna sit at the same row. I'm gonna add more padding to this layout. And then we will insert the total duration. Then, at the end of this, we're gonna insert toggle full screen button. And we can see this button is not set at the same as the duration tech view. So I'm going to add the gravity to the center. All right, now we need to add a time bar, the line that display the duration and the minutes running the video. Okay. So we have to insert this a schema We have to align this to the bottom. Uh, I think it's it seem control is overlay each other. So I'm going to uh, wrap this control to another linear layout, and then I'm change this to the vertical. And we're gonna move this to the layout. And I'm gonna move this time bar. Now we can see that the control is sit on each other. Okay, so let's see it again. We have this ID and this ID. Remember to implement this video player, you have to set the ID the same as me. Okay but except the button lock screen and the full screen you can set whatever you want because we will implement it in the code in the Kotlin class okay here if I click on this we can see the multiple implement one is in the current layout and the other one is in the Excel player library okay now we start implement code in the Kotlin class watch activity at first we will find those reference, the player ID, which is in the player view and in the custom control.xml. We can use this and find the reference in this class because it all in the activity watch. Okay. All right. I forget to add the progress bar in here. Means we will show the progress bar when the video is buffering. 
Okay, we start find the progress bar. The next, I make view, full screen, and lock screen, I make view. Now we start in stay in the ESO player. And we're gonna call seek back increment because the back button in a millisecond, which is 5. So we're going to uh, put the 5000 in the millisecond. And for the forward, we're gonna set at the same 5000. Now we set that to the player. Then we need to keep the screen is on to true so that it's gonna keep active screen when we're watching the video. Then we start at the listener for check the state. We're gonna override the methods on state change. In this method we'll fire when we doing pause or play or buffering the video stream. I gonna check in case a uh, playback state in the buffering. We gonna show the progress bar. And then in case it's state ready, we're going to hide the progress bar. Now in this time, we will need the video source. I'm going to use this link for testing the stream video. So let me test this. Okay, it's work fine. Now go back to our code. We're going to set the source to the media item. Then we're going to pass this value to the player instance. And then we're going to start prepare and play the video. Okay, so for the last, we're going to add permission to the internet because we want to use the network to stream the video. Alright, so now we're going to test the application. I'm going to tap this button to open the activity. Oops. Oh, we haven't yet implemented the action in the button. So we're gonna go to the main activity class. We're gonna find the reference for this button. Watch. And we're going to import this. Then we're going to start set the action button. Click to open up the watch activity in this class. We pass this reference to the current class and open the watch activity. Alright, so let's test one more. Okay, the app is installing and we launch the app. Now I'm going to hit this. We can see that the progress bar is about loading and then it's going to play the video. We also see that the full timer is running in the red color and the buffered video line as well. We're gonna try this uh, button skip for 5 seconds and it worked fine. But however, we didn't implement with this button, okay? We're gonna implement this stuff, full screen and the lock screen button. Also, we're gonna change the color background to the black. And we also will implement the full screen, I mean, it's mean we're going to hide the toolbar. Okay, now we're gonna go to the Android manifest and we're gonna add a specific an activity with this watch activity in here. We will insert a theme, a customized theme. We're gonna create a style in this theme. This theme is going to work for hiding the toolbar, okay? We have the name and we're going to extend it from the no action bar. And with this item, remember, we're going to set the attribute with these values. Now, if you go back, the red line is disappear. It means that we can use this theme and 
it's gonna remove the action bar. For the next, we're going to add the background color to the black in the player view. Alright, so let's test the app again. And what we expect is action bar is disappear and the background player is gonna be dark. Okay, now it's better than before. There is no action bar. Also, the stator bar is hiding and we can enhance the video more comfortable watching. Alright, so we start implements on the button full screen that we're going to start set the action on it when we click. And we must define a variable to check and toggle the value back and forth. When the first launch, we must instate the portrait. So in here, we're going to check if first we click and we found that we in a portrait mode, we're gonna change this image to the exit full screen, means we are in a landscape mode. And then we're going to start set the request orientation in the landscape mode. And then else, we just do reversely. We change it to the default image. And the orientation to the portrait mode. And last, we're going to assign the value to the variable back as we're doing the toggle. Okay, so we're gonna put this exclamation mark to reverse the value. So if it's true, it's going to be false. And if it's false, it's going to be true. Okay, now we can try this. Okay, it's rotated to the landscape mode. By the way, if we look at this button, we got some weird action. It seems not really work fine because when the rotation change, the configuration is reset and the value is boolean, it's gonna be reset to the default. So to stop this, we go to the Android manifest file and then we're going to add this attribute, config change. At this single line will prevent that weird action. So we're gonna start the app again. Okay, now the app is start running. And we're going to skip a bit. And I'm going to toggle the full screen. And the result is okay. It's not reset the timeline, even the icon button. Okay, back and forth is okay now. Alright, so the last step we will do is the lock screen button. It is a very easy concept. We just are going to hide this control and this too. After that, we will not allow to do back press unless we do unlock the button. Okay, so let's go to the watch activity. Anyway, I'm going to add the banner tip in here. If you want to landscape mode rotate at any side, left or right horizontal, we can change this to the constant to the sensor landscape. Okay. Now let's start the action button lock screen. We will define a new variable for this lock screen. And we're gonna check if we not lock. We're gonna set the icon to the locks. And else we're going to do reverse it back. And last we're going to do the same thing, just assign the value back to the reverse value. Okay, then we're going to create a new function with a parameter boolean to handle high and show the controls. But before we do that, let's take a look at this custom control layout. At this section, we have defined the ID, so we can use it to show and hide the control. So let's go to the class, and we're going to find those reference. And then next, we're going to find the control at the bottom with this ID. And now we have prepared to hide 
and show those. So let's say in case it locked, we will hide all the controls. And else we're going to show it back. Okay, so let's test this app again. I'm going to test the full screen rotation. As you can see here, the blink of the edge is rotation. Actually, in my real device, I'm trying to rotate it any angle, and it works by the sensor landscape. If we do on the lock screen, there it is. It hides all the control on the screen. We can't click anything unless we unlock it back. So we just add some logic if you lock it. We enable back to the main activity. Here if we lock, we not going to exist or end the activity. But if we check that we are in the landscape mode, we will perform the rotates to the portrait mode. But we actually already defined the logic with the click full screen. So I just call to imitate that the action click to the full screen or back exit the full screen, something like that. We will move this to the global variable so that we can use it in other methods as well. Okay, so it requires less in its keyword and it requires the type. So here we're going to call, oops, oh, it's not work lock screen, we want the full screen, okay? We call the perform click, so we're gonna call the action as we do the action directly. We're gonna test this app now. Mm, it seems to have some problems. It's not work like what we want. Oh, I'm almost forget this. When we use the player, we have to do on the activity life cycle. Cool. So it's not gonna be play the music at the background if we exit the app. We're gonna use this instance. So we're going to move this to the global. And then we can use it on stop function. We're gonna stop the video. And when we destroy the activity, we're going to release the player and and pause as well. And the problem is in here. I didn't add an L case, so it's gonna be always fell into this back brace. Okay, so we're going to run final test in here. We lock the screen and we cannot exit the app unless we unlock it back. Alright, I hope this will guide you something. And the next video, we're going to use this project to display the ads on the video. It means that we're going to show the revived video on this player. So don't miss the next video. Please hit the subscribe and share this video right now. And see you in the next video, guys. Bye bye.